Hello, everyone. I'm Kensuke Tanabe, the producer of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Donkey Kong and his crew are animals, and naturally, other appearing characters are animals too. When we discussed the new characters also being animals, we felt they should be strong and powerful, which is how we decided on a walrus being a boss character. Walruses are sea creatures, so we thought we would try a lineup of sea creatures like penguins and polar bears. What else is strong and powerful and has to do with the ocean? Vikings. And that's how we decided Vikings would invade Donkey Kong Island. The Vikings come to the island, and Donkey Kong and his crew are sent packing to a completely different island far, far away. During the game, they must travel across five islands to get closer and closer to Donkey Kong Island. At the end, they get back to Donkey Kong Island and have to battle it out with the Vikings to get their home back. In previous titles, the camera showed only a side-scrolling view from the side. But this time, we tried revolving the camera around, like off to the back and to all sorts of different angles. As a result, I think we're able to provide not only a new visual experience, but also gameplay experiences you haven't had before. The increased hardware performance got us thinking about Donkey Kong's fur, and so we had discussions with Retro on how we should show it. We decided that even though it would mean increased development costs, we wanted to see a furry Donkey Kong. Retro spent a lot of time experimenting to see what would work best. I'm sure those who are familiar with the series have fond memories of Dixie Kong. This time around, we've included Dixie and Diddy, as well as one other character I can't talk about yet as playable characters. And each of these characters has their own unique characteristics, like Dixie. Dixie has the ability to spin her ponytail around in the middle of a jump to fly even higher than before. Since you can choose which character to play, I think it's natural that you'll see some girls playing with Dixie and some boys choosing to go with Diddy. Since we were able to create areas that only certain characters can get to by using their unique abilities, we've hidden some secrets in those places, and I hope you'll have fun discovering those secrets. I have been in the video game business about 30 years, and the first game I worked on as a director was, well, in Japan it was known as Super Mario USA, and it was known as Super Mario Bros. 2 in America and elsewhere. You know, the main gameplay element was the ability to pluck vegetables from the ground and throw them at enemies, and also picking up and throwing enemies themselves. So when we were getting ready to make this game, and we're thinking of how we could differentiate it, we thought we could go ahead you know, and bring back that feature. After all, it's been about a quarter of a century. So I brought the idea up with Retro, and they agreed. So in this game, you can pluck things out of the ground to reveal items. Donkey Kong can ground pound, pick up enemies that flip over, you know, and of course you can throw them at other enemies. You can also use this ability to activate switches, and, you know, you can use it to solve puzzles as well. This time around, Donkey Kong travels across islands with his friends, so you can say this game is kind of a road movie. Now, regardless of whether you have played the previous titles or not, I think you will really like this game. And I hope that you will try it out. <laughs>